what do we see here we see a pile of useless cars what why am i calling them useless i'm calling them useless because they don't have fuel in them to make them work have you ever wondered where do we get this fuel from well we derive these vehicular fuels from energy resources like petroleum so petroleum is refined to give by products or to give different important fuels that is used by these cars or by different vehicles can you imagine walking miles and miles to different places just like the ancient times will it not get very difficult yes it will be but unfortunately the way we are using this limited resources there will be a time where we'll have to walk miles and miles and there will be no fuel left to fuel these different cars so that it could take us to different places so energy is a very important unit of life with which we are surrounded almost 24/7 but we have to be very very careful as we humans are carelessly and reluctantly using all the energies especially those that cannot be renewed easily yes energy can be of different types it can be divided into two broad headings first could be a type which could be renewed very easily so there are energy resources that can be renewed very easily or replenished very fast however there are other type of resources that cannot be renewed very easily and they take a million years to come back to their fully efficient form we need energy for everything but where do we get this energy from well just like our body derives energy from different nutrients from different foods similarly there are power houses that uses different types of resources to provide us with energy or power now our body is like an energy generator how it uses the nutrients from different foods which provides us with energy to work similarly to make things work we need energy this energy is provided to us by these power houses so when we switch on a fan we need electricity so electricity is the energy that is being used to make the fan work but where is this electricity coming from it is coming from electric generators these electric generators are the power houses right so here we will understand what exactly or how do we define energy resources so the resources which are used to generate power or energy are known as power or energy resources right so energy resources are one that provides us with energy to carry on with different types of activities so power house helps us to derive energy from different energy resources now there are different types of energy resources as i mentioned in the very beginning some that can be renewed very easily while some that take a very long time to come back to its most efficient form right so sources of energy could be numerous and here are some of the most important sources and what are these we have wood as a very important source of energy then we have coal that has been used since many many years then we have nuclear energy that is a more recent form of energy then we have petroleum as we mentioned in the very beginning then we have tidal energy that we derive from tidal waves and then we have solar energy that we derive from the sun's heat now so these are few of the most important sources of energy and there are many more that we will be learning about so before we get on to learn about each type of energy resource let us make it more simple by first looking at this example so we see here that there are fruits and then here we have a tree and it's a mature tree so take for instance you pluck a mango from a mango tree i hope you love mangoes because i really love mangoes it's one of my favorite fruits and you happen to eat it and it's over 
so next day when you get up you eat another mango and you keep doing this right so you see that even if you're consuming the mangoes there are still many more mangoes on the mango tree as the mango tree is healthy and it can provide you with mangoes again and again so there'll be no time well there'll be no mangoes at all it may take a little time but then you will get back those mangoes again on the same tree fresh and healthy However, if you happen to cut down the mango tree itself, do you think you'll be able to get the mangoes again? No, it will be very, very difficult. You will have to plant a mango sapling and wait for a couple of years to have a fully matured mango tree that could again provide you with those fresh mangoes. So you see that there are some things or there are some resources that can be easily renewed in a very short period of time. While there are some things that cannot be renewed that easily and it takes a very, very long time to come back to its efficient form. So here we got to know about two types of resources. Similarly, even energy resources are of two types. One that can be renewed and one that is non-renewable. So before moving on, could you help me answer this question? Which of the following cannot be renewed easily? An apple, a mango tree, a guava. Yes, we just understood from the previous example that it is much more difficult to renew a mango tree than an apple or a guava. So, coming to the first type of energy resource and that is conventional or non-renewable energy resource. Did you notice that we are giving two separate names for the same resource. One is conventional and the other is non-renewable. Well, they also have a different meaning. So, conventional means that there are certain resources that has been used since ancient times. For example, coal. However, there are some exceptions to this like uranium. Uranium though is a non-renewable resource, means it cannot be renewed that easily. However, it is not conventional. It is a new form of energy resource that provides us with nuclear energy. Now, so that we have understood that these are conventional resources as they have been used since many years. However, they are also non-renewable resources at the same time. Why so? Because it takes many, many years for them to form. Just like coal, petroleum and natural gas. They are fossil fuels and they take many, many years to form. However, they all are non-renewable that is they cannot be renewed that easily and they are even conventional as most of them have been used since many many years. So this was the first type of resources that we have learned about. Now let's look at another type of resource. So here we have the non-conventional or modern forms of resources and they are also known as renewable resources as they can be renewed at a much faster rate and more easily as compared to those that we learned a little earlier. So why are they non-conventional? Because they are modern forms of energy. They have not been used since the ancient times or they haven't been used since many years. They have been developed or they have been discovered about in the recent past. Also, they are renewable resources, means the sources from which they are derived are inexhaustible and they can be used again and again. So they are renewable resources. They can be renewed at a very faster rate. So let's point out some of the most important non-conventional or renewable sources of energy. And these are solar power, which is derived from the sun's heat. Then we have wind power, which is derived from wind. Then we have hydropower, which is derived from the fast flowing water of rivers. Other than these, we have geothermal energy, biomass and 
टाइडल एनर्जी सो ह्यूर वर सम ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट नॉन कन्वेंशनल और रिन्यूएबल रिसोर्सेज टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट एनर्जी रिसोर्सेज वी लर्न वॉट एन एनर्जी रिसोर्स इज एनर्जी रिसोर्सेज आर दोज दैट प्रोवाइड अस विद द एनर्जी टू कैरी ऑन विथ different types of activities we also learn that energy resources can be classified under two broad headings conventional resources and non conventional resources or renewable resources and non renewable resources so conventional or non renewable resources are those that cannot be renewed that easily and they have been used since many many years for example wood and coal on the other hand we have non conventional or modern forms of energy that can be renewed very easily so they are also known as renewable resources of energy for example solar power and wind power in the next video we will be learning about each type of energy in details don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like PlayStations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy; it is rewarding too. So register for free now.